Today, we will have a quick look at simple query creation in Web Intelligence. Now, in Web Intelligence, on the creation of a new document, you get prompted to select a data source. So this is basically the source of data where you will build uh, your query from. So you have a lot of different options, Bex queries, so BW for HANA queries, SAP HANA, text Excel files, universes, freehand SQL, that means uh, self-written SQL, and you can also start on an empty document. In our case, for this example, we'll start with a universe. Click on universe and OK. Now select the sample efashion.unx. Now the query panel opens up. As you can see, you have different sections. So here is the universe outline. You see this. This these um, do, uh, folders are found in the information design tool. Uh, so SA, where SAP universes are built, and in the business layer, you can create these folders and within the different objects to make it easier for business users to use and build their queries. So how do we build queries? So as mentioned, you have your objects here. So we have time period, for example. It's very easy. Here you have dimensions in blue. Um, the funnel in yellow are um, uh, filters. And you have measures that are with this orange kind of ruler. So just quickly, you can let's say we want sales revenue of the year for this year. It's very easy. You could do either a double click and you can see it's the year object is now in the result objects or you can also drag and drop. Now you have two objects that will appear when you run the query year sales revenue for the year. Now the the order here doesn't really matter because at the end of the day you can um, and modify the order in web intelligence itself but just for best practices it's always nice to have a specific order in place now for the filters it's a little bit different you could either use a um, another object uh, such as a measure or, or a dimension as a query filter in which case you can specify uh, the year, for example, you can specify the operator um, equal to, in list, between, etc., etc., and you can specify what type of filter it is, wh whether it is a constant value, which means you type it directly, a value from the list, so in your data you have a list of years and you can select from them, or you can prompt the user to um, add their own, the year they want. Now, in our case, I'll just use this um, filter built-in information design tool this year. So we have now, we'll, we should be seeing year sales revenue, a table with both of these objects, filtered on this year. So now all you do is run the query. And voila. Now, when you create uh, a new document and you create your first query, it um, automatically um, creates the table for you. But um, this can be removed, this can be added, and we will see in a later video how to create tables. Thank you and see you soon.